Heart Noise Complaint is a 1969 American novel by Philip Roth. Its success turned Roth into a major celebrity, sparking a storm of controversy over its explicit and candid treatment of sexuality, including detailed depictions of masturbation using various props including a piece of liver. The novel tells the humorous monologue of a lust-ridden, mother-addicted young Jewish bachelor, who confesses to his psychoanalyst in intimate, shameful detail, and coarse, abusive language. Many of its characteristics, such as comedic prose, themes of sexual desire and sexual frustration, and a self-conscious literariness went on to become Roth trademarks. In 1998, the Modern Library ranked Part Noise Complaint 52nd on its list of the 100 best English language novels of the 20th century. Time included this novel in its Time 100 Best English Language Novels from 1923 to 2005. Topic. Structure and themes Structurally, Part Noise Complaint is a continuous monologue by narrator Alexander Portnoy to his psychoanalyst, Dr. Spielvogel. Roth later explained that the artistic choice to frame the story as a psychoanalytic session was motivated by the permissive conventions of the patient analyst situation, which would Permit me to bring into my fiction the sort of intimate, shameful detail, and coarse, abusive language that in another fictional environment would have struck me as pornographic, exhibitionistic, and nothing but obscene. The novel is set primarily in New Jersey from the 1940s to the 1960s. Port Noy is a lust-ridden, mother-addicted young Jewish bachelor, and the narration weaves through time describing scenes from each stage of his life. Every recollection in some way touches upon his central dilemma, his inability to enjoy the fruits of his sexual adventures even as his extreme libidinal urges force him to seek release in ever more creative and, in his mind, degrading and shameful acts of eroticism. Also, much of his dilemma is that his sense of himself, his past, and his ridiculous destiny is so fixed. Roth is not subtle about defining this as the main theme of his book. On the first page of the novel, one finds this clinical definition of part noise complaint, as if taken from a manual on sexual dysfunction. Part noise complaint, a disorder in which strongly felt ethical and altruistic impulses are perpetually warring with extreme sexual longings, often of a perverse nature. The title also alludes to the common literary form of complaint, such as a lover's complaint, which typically presents the speaker's comments on being a spurned lover. Other topics touched on in the book include the assimilation experiences of American Jews, their relationship to the Jews of Israel, and the pleasures and perils the narrator sees as inherent in being the son of a Jewish family. Part Noise Complaint is also emblematic of the times during which it was published. Most obviously, the book's sexual frankness was both a product of and a reflection on the sexual revolution that was in full swing during the late 1960s. And the book's narrative style, a huge departure from the stately, semi-Jamesian prose of Roth's earlier novels, has often been likened to the stand-up performances of 1960s comedian Lenny Bruce. The novel is notable for its explicit and candid treatment of sexuality, including detailed depictions of masturbation using various props including a piece of liver which Partnoy's mother later serves for dinner. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Writing. Roth had begun work on Partnoy's Complaint in 1967, before publication of his novel When She Was Good that year. The piece had its genesis in a satirical monologue Roth had written to accompany a slideshow proposed for inclusion in the Risqué Review O. Calcutta, that would focus on the sexual organs of the rich and famous. While the slideshow would never come to fruition, Roth found part of the accompanying monologue about masturbation salvageable. Roth refashioned the material for the novel and sold a chapter of the book, entitled, Whacking Off, to Partisan Review. Progress on the novel was slow because Roth was suffering from writer's block relating to his ex-wife, Margaret Martinson, and the unpleasant notion that any royalties generated by the novel would have to be split equally with her. In May 1968 Martinson was killed in a car crash in Central Park. Roth's writer's block lifted and following Martinson's funeral he traveled to the Yaddo Literary Retreat to complete the manuscript. Topic. Responses, reviews and attacks The publication of the novel caused a major controversy in American public discourse. The two aspects that evoked such outrage were its explicit and candid treatment about sexuality and obscenities, including detailed depiction of masturbation, which was revolutionary in the late 1960s, and the irreverent portrait of Jewish identity. It sparked an uproar in the Jewish community, even among New York intellectuals such as Irving Howe and Diana Trilling. Topic. Censorship In 1969 the book was declared a «prohibited import» in Australia. The Australian publisher, Penguin Books, circumvented the importation ban by having copies printed in Sydney in secret and stored in fleets of moving trucks to avoid seizure under state obscenity laws. A 1967 agreement between the Commonwealth of Australia and its states had put in place a uniform censorship effort against books on the federal banned books list. According to this agreement, books that were imported into the country would be handled by the Commonwealth, while the states would police local publication and distribution, using state laws to prosecute. However, South Australia bucked the system when it came to Partnoy's complaint, declaring that it would not prosecute sales of the work made to an adult who made a direct enquiry of the vendor, provided the books were kept behind the counter. Attempts to prosecute Penguin and any bookseller carrying the book were successful in Victoria and Queensland, but failed in Western Australia, where works of recognized artistic, scientific or literary merit," were immune under the local statute, notwithstanding that they may have been obscene, and New South Wales, where prosecutors gave up after two trials resulted in hung juries. The book was removed from the federal banned list for importation in June 1971, the federal government recognizing the absurdity that local publications could be sold legally in three states and the Australian Capital Territory. The Portnoy matter was a watershed in Australian censorship law, marking the last occasion on which the censorship of a literary publication came before the courts. Many libraries in the United States banned the book because of its detailed discussion of masturbation and its explicit language. Topic allusions to the title The popularity of the novel has caused the title to become a sort of shorthand for any form of sexual malaise or activity. In his autobiography, 
Dick Cavett wrote that on one occasion when a male guest was unable to appear on his talk show, Cavett jokingly told the studio audience the guest could not attend because he was suffering from part noise complaint, a comment which the network censors decided to cut from the broadcast tape. Gore Vidal once quipped to Claire Bloom, Roth's second wife, you have already had part noise complaint, her previous husband. Do not involve yourself with Portnoy. On the 8th of September 2010, episode of The Daily Show, as part of an extended segment on the amount of violence in major religious texts, John Stewart and John Oliver have a debate wherein Stewart claims the book as the main text of Judaism, in response to Oliver's demand of a disavowal regarding the violence depicted in portions of Hebrew sacred texts. In her metafictional novel Culture Shock Duckworth 1988, Valerie Grosvenor Maya wrote of a satirically presented married couple among her characters, Let us consider my Jean and Jack. I weighted the scales by presenting them in the role of parents, fictional parents are usually set up as Aunt Sally's to be knocked down. Mrs. Bennet, Mrs. Nickleby, Mrs. Portnoy, Old Capulet, Mr. Dorrit, Dr. Sloper. In the Get Smart original TV series, in the fifth season episode, Do I Hear a Vaults, aired on 8 May 1970, Maxwell Smart alludes to the book being hidden in a public library. The Mad Men character Don Draper is briefly shown reading the novel in the season 7 episode of the series titled The Monolith, on the TV series Californication. In the episode titled Coke Dick and the First Kick, a female writer for Rolling Stone magazine calls one of Hank Moody's early novels The Retarded Man's Part Noise Complaint. In the Family Guy episode Peter, Chris, and Brian, Brian Griffin makes several references to Portnoy's complaint, clearly not having read the book and assuming it was about a Portnoy's complaint. In the Bojack Horseman episode, Ruthie, Princess Carolyn remarks, who knew Portnoy had so many complaints, in response to fictional actress Courtney Portnoy. Topic. Film adaptation In 1972, the novel was adapted into a film written and directed by Ernest Lehman, and starring Richard Benjamin and Karen Black. <laughs> Notes <laughs>